Also gathered downtown in solidarity with those in Washington, D.C. Allie Levine has been at Civic Center Park all day. Allie, well, what are you hearing from that crowd there? Well, Ryan and Alex, the speakers wrapped up just about an hour ago or so, but within the last minute or two, the group behind me has just marched back into Civic Center Park chanting no justice, no peace. You can see them gathering right over my shoulder there. This is one of two marches in Denver happening today, and we heard from speakers who wanted to commemorate the anniversary of the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom and also remind the community here that 57 years later, there is still work to be done. Denver community organizers gathered in front of Dr. Martin Luther King's statue. The Simmons Foundation hosted that event. Speakers advocated for civil and economic rights of African Americans. It was also meant to galvanize the community against police brutality. We heard from families of youth lost to gun violence. In downtown, protesters marched around Civic Center Park. They blocked traffic at Colfax and Bannock for eight minutes and 46 minutes seconds. That's the same amount of time prosecutors say a Minneapolis police officer pressed his knee on George Floyd's neck. Both crowds were relatively small compared to some other demonstrations we've seen over the past few months, and some of the organizers of the city park march were disappointed by that turnout. You guys should look for the positivity and come out and support the peaceful protesting and help us you know, guide the, the youth in the right direction. Now, speakers who were here at Civic Center Park this afternoon also noted on the crowd size. And one woman who spoke said that everyone who needed to hear this message today was out here. And Ryan, we do just want to say one more time that this was an extremely peaceful and very organized event, both at City Park and here at Civic Center Park. Yeah, and because of that, they're able to make such powerful messages, Ali, on such a powerful day in history, not just in Denver, uh, but across the country. Allie Levine reporting downtown Denver tonight. Allie, thank you.